Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to present about Diego Rivera, who is a Mexican artist. So his real name was Diego Maria de la Concepción Juan Nepomuceno Stanislao de la Rivera y Barrientos Acosti Rodriguez, better known as Diego Rivera. He was uh, the Mexico's uh, famous painter. He rebelled against the traditional school of painting and he developed his own style. So he was born in Guanajuato City, in Guanajuato State, on December 8, 1886. He studied painting at the National School of Fine Arts in Mexico City, and in 1907 he received a scholarship from the Mexican government to study in Europe, and he, left, he lived there until 1921. He worked in Spain, France, and Italy. So from 1913 to 1917, he performed two very important pieces, well, the most beautiful at that time, uh, the guerrilla and the portrait of a young man. It was very different from what we will see later because these are more in the cubist style. And right here, his first mural was the creation that was created in 1922 at the Bolivar Amphitheater at the University of Mexico City. As you can see, this is very different as well as what we will see later because this was really close to religion. As we can see, every image has something to do with, with the religion. So from 1923 to 1926, he was hired by the Mexican government to execute frescoes in the Ministry of Education building in Mexico City. So all around the building, we could see the frescoes and it took for him three years to complete it. Uh, it's beautiful, I have been there and it's awesome. So from 1926 to 1928, he executed the frescoes in the auditorium of the, of the National School of Agriculture. Uh, all around the, the building, but my two favorites are the murals in the former chapel, which is now a museum, and the murals uh, in, the administrate, in the administrative uh, building. So in 1930, he went to the U.S., specifically in San Francisco, and he did the murals for the Stock Exchange Tower and the California School of Fine Arts. As we can see right now, it's really different from what we saw at the beginning. Right here, he's more involved with the industrialization and, and the social issues. So in 1932, he had an exhibition at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. And in 1933, he painted part of the mural of Rockefeller Center in New York. He painted Lenin, and later he refused to remove the portrait from the mural. Sometime later, the whole piece was destroyed. As we can see right here, uh, he was a communist. So when he returned to Mexico a year later in 1934, he executed a small replica of the one he had started at Rockefeller Center, and it was completed at the Palace of Fine Arts in Mexico City. One year later in 1935, he completed the frescoes on the monumental stair in the National Palace, which interpreted the history of Mexico. In 1940, he, went, he returned to the US to do a mural at the San Francisco City College. Uh, the team was the cultural, the, the future, uh, which he believed will consist of a fusion of the artistic genius of South America with the industrial genius of North America. And right there we can see the, the mural of the college. In 1951, he had a great retrospective covering his uh, 50 years of activity as an artist, and it took place in the Palace of Fine Arts in Mexico City. His last uh, work uh, was awesome. It was, the it was a mosaic for the Olympic Stadium of the National University in Mexico City. He died in 1957. So he married with Frida Kahlo, who was another uh, Mexican artist, but their relationship were far, was far from classic. They were married in 1929, they divorced in 1940, and then they married again one year later in 1941. Frida died in 1955, two years before uh, Diego Rivera died. So Diego Rivera, in conclusion, Diego Rivera was a gifted painter and a muralist, considered one of the 20th century major artistic figures. He was also a political activist. Many of the murals he created in Mexico and throughout the world speaks of politics, history, and the workers' struggle. So these are the works that I cite. 
Uh, the first two are books and the last one is an article. Guys, if you want to get some, some more information about Diego Rivera, I strongly recommend you to do the first two. Those are very complete books and you can find pretty much everything you need right there. So thank you guys for, for being with me and thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed this presentation.